We are making some progress here on the LF350. As you can tell, there's not much left of it. Got the cab off sitting over there. Transmission, engine, transfer case, everything out. So now I just need to figure out what, what I need to keep on the frame and what can go. And uh, start working on it. Box frame in. And start making my. Uh, my new cross members. This uh, factory cross member here has got to go. It's a little bit too narrow, and it's also the new engine mount is going to be at the front of the engine, which is going to be like way up here, and so that's just going to be in the way. So that's going to have to go. Kind of strange that this part of the frame is like bent up like that. I don't know if that was factory. It's not like that on the other side. Have to do something about that. So yeah, eventually I'm going to have to cut this out. I need to figure out where I'm going to be putting the uh, center line of the, the new engine. If you look, it wasn't, the original engine isn't quite centered. They put it off to the passenger side just a little bit to help. I'm no expert, but I believe to help clear the uh, front differential and give you a little space for your front drive line. So I'm going to have to make some measurements and figure out where the center line for the factory engine was and I'll probably just follow that with my engine put it about the same distance off to the passenger side and, uh, I gotta get some steel so I can start boxing the frame gotta figure out what can go and what needs to stay the factory frame has these uh, plates on it I don't know if these were like an aftermarket add-on or what but they're they're not in the best shape. It looks like some sort of stiffening device for the frame. But they've kind of rusted. You can see how they're kind of like pushing up. It's got one on the bottom too. And in some spots it's kind of like bending the frame. So I'm thinking about chopping them off. Because once I get the frame boxed, it should be much stiffer than even these can add. I also have this valve doohickey here for your brake system I believe it's the uh, proportioning valve but I have no idea what controls that and if it even works so that might be going this fuel tank might be going we're just getting rid of it all everything's going one day only sale so I was just I was looking at it the other day with the transfer case in, you know, and the factory transfer case came to here. So when I put a divorce in, it's gonna come back even further. So the fuel tank leaks anyways. So we might be getting rid of that fuel tank. 
you have to do something about this here doodad. I don't know what the tactical term is for that is, but the doodad there that holds the axle between the frame and keeps it from drifting one way or another. Looks like it's just bolted to that cross member, so I'll just have to make up something new for that to bolt to. Maybe I'll just bolt it straight to the oil pan on the engine. Yeah, the easy part's done now, so now we can start with the hard part and intensive labor and see if we can make something with this. We're going to have to do some work to the cab, too. I knew it was a little rusty, but it's worse than I thought it was. Brakes don't work. Piece of junk. But yeah. There's a little bit of a hole there. Mouse nest. So I think the carpet's gonna come out. See if I can get new floor pans. Put them in and then I'll just bedline the floor. Let's see if I can talk the wife into getting some different seats for it too. See if we can get some nice bucket seats and some sort of center console. Something with a cup holder. Like really, they hadn't invented cup holders by the 90s. So yeah, we're making progress, and uh, one way or another, we're going to do something here. <laughs> 